Hello everyone and welcome to S3 Bubble. So in this video tutorial we're going to show you the new updates to the app. We're going to show you how to do DRM encoding directly through the app and using EZ DRM as the license server. So let's just go ahead and get started. I'm just going to drag a file that we're going to encode into the app and we're going to do dash encoding first that's going to support Widevine. Here's where we can set our resolution so you can go all the way up to 4K or full um, high definition. Let's go ahead and just add some subtitles. So what I'll do is I'll just go and grab my file path now. Okay, so I've added my file path. Uh, it's going to be English subtitles. We're going to set it as default no, and we're just going to put English. Okay, for that. So we're just going to add some subtitles to the dash output. Um, for poster, you can add your own poster, but if we leave it blank, then what it will do is it'll grab a poster halfway through for us automatically. Now here's where we can add some custom DRM settings. So what we're going to do is type EZDRM and here's where we're going to enter our EZDRM um, details okay so I'm just going to enter my details in here you want to put in your EZDRM username your EZDRM password generate a KID so this is what's going to be used for encryption and then you want the last six digits of your um, play ready account ID okay for play ready now you can get this from EZDRM through your account um, just go to this URL here okay so I'll just do that now Okay, so I've put in my EZDRM username, I've put in my EZDRM password, I've generated a KID and I've put in the last six digits of my play ready ID that I've grabbed from my EZDRM account. Okay, so the last six digits here, okay? So let's go ahead and go next. And here's where you can add titles and descriptions if you're using the S3 Bubble plugin. But what I'm going to do now is um, I've connected to AWS. Now, if you haven't connected, go up to AWS in the top hand corner, top left hand corner, sorry, and connect to AWS. Um, and it's connected to your S3 Bubble account. And what we'll do is we'll go ahead and I'm going to select my Amazon details now. Okay, so I've selected an output bucket. Um, I've generated an ID for the folder and it's automatically selected a CloudFront distribution related to this bucket. So if you don't see a cloud distribution here, make sure you go ahead and add a cloud for distribution to your bucket. So go ahead and click next and submit. Okay, so this is gonna go off and it's gonna generate some files for us, uh, BIF thumbnail, metadata, uh, BPM, WAV files, lots of different information. Um, and then it's going to encode our content to Dash, okay? So we'll be encoding our content to Dash, fragmented um, MP4s. And then what it will do then it was upload to uh, AWS and this will also be encrypted with DRM Widevine encryption okay so we'll just give that a second while that encodes and then uploads to Amazon okay great so that has now encoded our video for Widevine using Dash and it's given us our manifest file here okay so what we can do is we can just take the source Okay, so this is the URL, and what we're going to use, we're actually going to use Bitmovin just to show it working without S3 Bubble for now. And um, here we can just go ahead and we put in our manifest URL, okay. And then for your license server URL, you can get this through the EZDRM dashboard. Uh, but we have details on S3 Bubble with this as well. But you want to take the last six digits of your Widevine PX, okay? So here we go so there we go and you can see that this is now working and now this is just securely encrypted using Widevine DRM okay which will work on Firefox uh, Edge and um, yeah so that's all you really need and then it'll be working for IE uh, it will switch to play ready okay so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna encode for Safari because Safari uses a different encryption called Fairplay and they use HLS so let's go ahead and we'll just take the same video okay and uh, oh, let's just go back and I can just show you that you know this will have also added our subtitles as well so we've got our English subtitles there so I just wanted to touch on that so we've dragged our video in we're going to be doing HLS this time um, I'm not going to add subtitles or audio descriptions but I'll just fill in my um, details same as before and go next okay so I've added my bucket I've added a, a random folder ID and I'm using the same cloud for distribution so we can click continue and submit now what this is doing, this will be creating a HLS job. Okay, so this is encoding to HLS. So what we'll do is we'll give it, it's also creating trick play files and um, BIF thumbnails. So for fast scrub that you can use with the S3 bubble player. But we're just showing you DRM encryption working with Bitmovin and we'll do it with, uh, let's do it with JW player for um, fair play because the Bitmovin demo doesn't seem to work with fair play very well but this will work so we'll go ahead and while that's encoding I'm just gonna grab my URLs 
so you'll need your fair play certificate okay and then you'll also need your license URL which we automatically generate for you via the app okay so let's just wait while this uploads all these chunks to AWS okay great so you can see it's uploaded our data so what we can do now is we can go ahead and grab our manifest m3 m3 u8 and then we'll paste it in here okay now we also need to get our license URL which we generate for you okay for EZDRM and go ahead and you want to put it under the process SPC URL and we can test the stream okay now this is going to play but what Fairplay actually does is it prevents screen recording so you can see this is playing and this is working but obviously because I'm screen recording this uh, video tutorial you won't see the thing but this is working okay so what we can do now is um, let's go ahead and finish okay and I'm going to show you this working with S3 Bubble. So I've just got a WordPress website here. I've got the S3 Bubble DRM um, plugin installed. So go to the WordPress plugin repository or just search for it, S3 Bubble DRM. And we're going to add a new post. Okay, and we're going to start adding our DRM encryption. Okay, so we'll put, uh, let's put DRM. Okay, and we're going to be using Widevine and uh, Play Ready. Okay, and fair play. Now we do all the necessary um, processing needed to serve the correct um, dash manifest for Widevine, um, Internet Explorer, Play Ready, and Safari uh, for fair play. Okay, now S3 Bubble DRM on the widgets. Now we've got widgets for Elementor, and or you can just put the code in directly, or you can actually use this um, uh, standard uh, Gutenberg block editor. Okay, but let's go ahead and open up the app. Okay, and then I'm just going to drag our intro in. Okay, and let's do dash first again. Okay, and should I add subtitles? Let's just leave that for now. Yes, okay, so I'll add um, the EZ DRM details again. Okay, so I've added my um, details, and then we'll just put in uh, DRM video. This is DRM. Now here's where you can add a Vastor VMAP if you're going to be serving advertisements. Okay, so you can add your Vastor VMAP file, and I'm just going to go and put in uh, the AWS details again. Okay, so same as before, bucket, random folder ID, and CloudFront. Let's click submit. Okay, now I'm just going to wait until this has encoded and uploaded. Okay, so that has now finished uploading, encoding, and uploading. We just grab the code for the plugin and you literally just put in the code here so we're going to be using this code as it's uh, widevine and play ready for um, the widevine and play ready code but we're going to generate our fair play code now as well okay so we'll finish this same as before drag your file in we're going to be using hls once again and now i'm going to put in the ezdrm details okay and here's where we can add let's add a different one as we'll be using safari um, Safari, just so you can see, it's actually the player logic switches depending on what browser you're using, and just put this it is uh, fair play because that will be the encryption you'll be using, and then I'll enter the AWS details in now. Okay, click next, click submit, and now what we'll do is we'll just wait until this has encoded and uploaded. Okay, so you can see it's now uploaded and encoded to Fairplay. So what we can do is for Fairplay, we're going to be using a different code. Okay, and what you want to do, you want to take the ID off the end here. Okay, so you don't need the full URL; just take the ID off because that's generated for you. And here's where we can add ex extra information with WordPress, where we can put our products behind WooCommerce. Um, so we can say you either want to be on one of the WooCommerce membership plans, or you can just select the product. So you could just be doing a one-off live stream. It works with SVOD, AVOD, you know, um, or pay-per-view, PPV, and you can also add teaser times, which is great. So you can say, I want to allow them to see this video for so, say 10 seconds, and then you can ask for payment. So a great way to monetize your media. Okay, so let's just publish that. Click publish. Let's go ahead and view the post. Okay, so we go down, view our post. You can see we've got our video. You can see this says this is uh, DRM. Now, if we click play, you can see that it's all set up with trick play thumbnails. Um, we've got all the Chromecast functionality, picture in picture, and then you have our members, with, um, our menu, sorry, settings menu where you can set like qualities, speed, captions, or everything that you need with a player. Now, let's go ahead and take this code 
and what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Safari okay, and I'll just paste this code into Safari now if we scroll down with Safari you can see that this is saying this is Safari and this is Fairplay okay, so it's switched um, the DRM to technologies depending on our browser but again this is playing and it's working fine but you can see Safari blocks out screen recording that's why you can't see the screen recording but you can see we've got Apple um, Airplay working here okay so that's how you get everything set up with the plugin it's as simple as that like you said we've got Elementor um, 